Today's video is brought to you by us. Do you love our content and want to support us, but direct payments are a step too far? We understand. Thank you for watching our videos and being fans. One awesome way to support us is to use the affiliate links in the video description of our videos. Peanut butter, anyone? More details on how they work after the video. Alrighty, uh, Bone Guard Steel. He owns a fifth gen i5 laptop with 400M NVIDIA GPU. Whoa, that's old. I'm looking at an i7 11700 with 1660, 16 gigs of RAM. Would cut costs on IPS display. A gold fully modular PSU. Budget 1300 bucks. Use for video editing and 2019 games. 1300 sounds like a lot for that. I would think you can get better than that for 1300 or it should 11, cost less. 11700 Um... Oh, he's building a desktop. Oh, pfft. I'm sitting here mentally thinking of a laptop. And then he says a gold fully modular PSU. <laughs> How do you have a modular PSU and a laptop? He's going from a laptop to it where we've got to read in between the lines all the stuff they don't tell us. I'm like, what why kind of laptop why is only, that? Why only 16 gigs of RAM? You got 11700. 30, 30. Why would you do an 11700? Why wouldn't you do a 10700? The Raptor Lakes are dumb. Well, Rocket Lake, excuse me. Raptor Lake well, is not yet. Well, 10850K, 10 cores. Yeah, but that's Comet Lake. Yes. The the Rocket Lake chips are dumb. The 11, 11 series. Yeah, those are dumb. Yeah. I don't, I, there's just no point. You'd much be happy with a 10850K, 10 cores. And they're usually about the same price as those. An 11700K, 11700 and a 10850K are usually about the same price. So he's got a thirteen hundred dollar budget with a ten sixty with a sixteen sixty. That's what he says. Is this that's a not a balanced system. No, that's not a balanced system at all. You need two grand. Well, you don't need to. Okay, you don't need two grand. Uh, this is it's a compromise. Well, he's video editing. I'm working on it. Okay. Let's come over here to sold by Newegg gaming desktops. 30 series. There's no reason to buy a 1660 at this point. Sort by lowest price. He's he's got a $1300 budget? Yes. Well, the CPU's the issue cuz it's a, it's a it's a 10400. What's the cheapest i7? Well, he's also in Wherever that is, where is that? You know what's winning? What? Just I'm just showing examples. So he's he got a thirteen. He's in India. Right. When you clicked over there, it took me away. Oh, sorry. It just does. I don't know how to fix that. I have searched that up. Okay. So we've got an i7 10700F, eight core, sixteen threads, an RTX 3060, which is. A, we're way faster than a 1660. 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gig SSD, a decent enough case cooler, motherboard, etc. It's got airflow in here. That's a fairly basic cooler, but you know, it does the job. $1,400. But one of the single biggest advantages of that is it arrives, you push the button, turns on, and it runs. Now he's going to say he wants a gold fully modular PSU. Expensive. Why your computer doesn't justify one? I mean, sure, For if you want to. Thirteen hundred dollar budget. I would much rather have a ten seven hundred F and an RTX thirty sixty than an i seven eleven seven hundred with a sixteen sixty. But that's just me. Drop another sixteen gigs of RAM in, or preferably drop thirty two gigs in for a total of forty eight. I would drop a better SSD in there and use the five. I would use the SSD it comes with as a data drive, and I would drop a one terabyte NVMe boot drive, in, boot drive there. in there. And um, that's what I would do. But I don't think a 1660, 16 gigs of RAM, and an 11700 go, go together. That, that's that's, that's kind of me. Used for video editing and, and 2019 games. I mean, a 1660 for 2019 games is fine, but if you're video editing, you definitely want a 3060. The uh, Most video editing software these days uses your video card more than your CPU. 
and a 3060 will be better and faster in all respects to a 1660. Affiliate links are often mentioned but rarely explained. There are a list of product links in most video descriptions taking you to places like Amazon, Newegg, eBay, and more. Affiliate programs are one of our primary income sources that we depend on to bring you all the content we make each week. But how do they work, you ask? Do you have to click on them every time? Does just clicking do anything? Or do you actually have to buy something? And what's the difference between one link and another? Well, to be honest with you, the internet is full of affiliate links from websites to search engines to comparison shopping websites. Whichever link you click on last is the one that gets the credit. You're using them already and you may not even know it. The short version is that affiliate money is a commission or a percentage of the total product sale paid to whoever sent the shopper to the site. It is usually paid, but not always paid only when you actually buy something. What's awesome is that it doesn't matter what you buy. It could be a link to CPU or an SSD, but then you actually decide that you want some peanut butter. Awesome. It still counts. In general, anything you buy during the same web browser session counts towards the commission. The money being paid out for the commission comes out of the marketing budgets of the company. So it isn't affecting the cost. In this case, they are paying us for sending you there. Part of what's awesome about this is it allows you to be more proactive in supporting your favorite creators, which hopefully includes us if you're still watching this. Two gold stars for you. Actually, I'm gonna give you a three gold stars. Be sure to use our links to shop for whatever you need. Thank you in advance for your support. It really does mean a lot to us and it enables us to keep bringing you more great content.